engineers today I want to talk about an article I recently wrote on my Substack. I'll leave a link to it called CICD for data engineers it seems kind of like a boring topic to me it's kind of boring but I did it anyways and it actually turned out to be pretty popular so I thought I'd just talk about it quickly I mean honestly after being in data for over a decade and being a data engineer for a long time it's clear to me that a lot of data teams really struggle to embrace CICD for whatever reason really when it comes down to it automation is the name of the game and it's pretty much the unsung hero of most data teams a lot of data teams don't do it well and it really shows and that's kind of where CICD comes in it's automating the boring stuff making things easy making things not breakable and taking a human out of the picture as much as possible which is helpful so CICD technically stands for continuous integration continuous deployment or continuous delivery and it's kind of a set of practices and tools that software engineers have used for a long time to deliver code changes frequently reliably and just a little bit better and data engineers always struggled in this area typically what i run into out there in the rule there's people are already masters of cicd they have software engineers on the team and they don't really need any help they're like next level or usually find teams that have absolutely nothing in place and it's horrible i just want to propose a few simple cicd ideas just for data engineers and data teams looking just to dip their toe in the water that will make a difference in their workflows and their development work life cycles and on data teams it'll actually make a huge difference i know it seems strange because it's not the code that you write that gets deployed that runs the data and the data pipelines but it's all the infrastructure around that and it can make doing those things and rolling out changes less buggy and a lot easier and i honestly think these three points are pretty straightforward and anyone can embrace them i don't think without too much argument and they come down to automated testing automated code deployments and clean code and standards and you can use CICD to help you in all three of those first when it comes to automated testing CICD a lot of times I do not see people doing this at all and I'm not sure why number one you need to test your code number two is you should have automated tests running when your code is deployed when somebody makes a branch makes changes and pushes it out to get on a branch you should have automating at least unit tests that are running against those codes it's a great and easy place to start with things like circle ci and github actions there is absolutely no excuse to not having automated tests run when code changes are made this is one of the first things that i always ask new data teams that i run into is i ask them if i cloned your data repo today could i with one command run all the tests locally and if i made a change in that repo and pushed a commit would the test run and whether they answer yes or no to those questions is very telling and the answer should be yes because it's easy to do all it takes is a little unit testing a little docker a little github actions done you can catch a lot of issues you'd be surprised a lot of fat fingering goes on you know this is what happens when you don't have this stuff somebody just makes a little change they forget something some little thing and they just push it out somebody just blanket approves the pr and then all of a sudden the pipeline broke because of some stupid thing that if the unit tests were running automatically it easily would have caught it and i know this is a question data engineers are talking about because if you go on reddit our data engineering and you look for tests you can see all sorts of tests people asking about how do you test blah 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 so it's definitely something people can work on and it's easy to get your foot easy to get started in that the second one i wanted to mention around cicd is just automated deployments and you again you'd be surprised about how often this doesn't happen this is just another small but it's an important piece of a data team it's super important to have automated deployments of whatever exists in your repository when changes are made to that data platform or that code base to be able to push those changes out to production without a human getting in the loop it's a super boring process but it's something that breaks a lot on teams that don't have automated deployments and it's easy to fix again with tools like github actions i mean honestly every data platform uses different tool different architecture they run their code slightly different and it's untypical for two companies to run the exact same stack but you do have certain pieces of code and infrastructure that need to be deployed in certain spots in the same way right like you update a pipeline and that code gets deployed to somewhere right that should be done automatically probably with like some sort of git integration you should not have a human having to run something to push this code out run this script right that's not what you should do and again it's very easy here's an example of some circle ci just looking at a branch and saying hey if i'm on main and a 
so this branch is on main and it's being committed, then you need to go ahead and deploy this. This is, of course, after tests have run and things like that. But there's nothing worse than engineers have to piddle around and manually push code or infrastructure changes out there. When you introduce humans into that, you know, it's just a waste of time, honestly, and you're going to have bugs all the time. You should have code deploy your changes and it's easy to get started. And the last and third piece, I would say that's easy way for data engineers, data teams to get into CICD is just the clean code concepts. And, you know, honestly, code atrophy in software engineering, it just refers to like the gradual degradation and obsolescence of code over time. Code just gets messy. That's humans. We start, you know, to get loosey goosey, even if you have standards, if no one's checking or nothing's checking and it just ends up being whatever, right? People just over time, whether it's new or experienced people just start getting messy and probably not paying attention to those standards because they get comfortable. And honestly, there's so many nice tools out now that can just run again when somebody makes a commit to a branch, they can actually locally and when that code gets pushed out, you can have things checking. You can have things like rough running linters. You can have formatting things run that can catch a lot of errors, can catch a lot of dirty not clean code and it can make everything look better and feel better because all the codes being formatted all the codes being linted and it all happens automatically again with something like github actions it's incredibly easy a couple lines of code can get this done so there's really no excuse not to do it and all of a sudden your code base, code base looks much cleaner and is easier to work with and everyone's happier I mean, I think some of these simple CID CD steps are really what separates a good data teams from mediocre and mid data teams. People who don't care about clean code, they don't care about automated deployments, they don't care about automated tests. Really those probably, really those platforms you're gonna work on that are like on, they're probably gonna break more. There's gonna be more problems. The culture's not gonna be that great. Why? Just because they're gonna be fighting with small fires, small little bugs and breaks all the time that are totally solvable. Ensuring your code is clean and deployable without human inter intervention creates a resilient and efficient workflow and it should be embraced by all data teams. <laughs>